Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. Beginning tonight, thousands of speed cameras in the city will start operating around the clock, seven days a week. But as CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer found out, that's just the start of a new pedal to the metal push to go after dangerous drivers. Marsha? Well, Dana, last year, speed cameras gave out more than 4.3 million tickets, and that was when there was only a 16-hour-a-day thing, now and five days a week. Imagine what's going to happen now. One, two, two. three. A ceremonial flip of the switch signaled all systems go, a green light for the expansion of the city's speed camera program. Starting tonight, 2,000 speed cameras at 750 schools will operate 24-7, seven days a week for the very first time. A city that never sleeps deserve a camera system that won't take a nap. But the mayor, who seemingly never sleeps, says he's not satisfied with the program. He wants it expanded to traffic hotspots, not just school zones. If we identify locations where there are problems, uh, that is a, that's where we should put, place the cameras. And then we should use some of the mobile technology uh, that allows us, if we have a particular hot spot at a particular location, let's move it there. We should not be afraid of the technology. Now that the speed camera is up and running, Albany lawmakers say the next step is to greatly increase the number of red light cameras. State Senator Andrew Grenard is telling CBS2 he wants to go from zero to 60, so to speak, in expanding the number of red light cameras. Right now, there are just 150. He calls that flappable. I want to start with at least 1,300. That will give us about 10% of the intersections in New York City coverage. There's 13,000 plus intersections in the city. Why should only less than 1% of them uh, be covered with a red light camera? Speeding, red, running red lights, you know, taking turns quickly, all of these things contribute to, to fatalities. Monique Williams, whose father was killed by a hit and run driver in the Bronx last year, praised the city for getting the speed cameras working around the clock. I cannot describe the pain that our family feels and how much we miss him. Nobody else should experience what I've been through. Nobody else should experience the pain of having to lose their loved one. Now, officials say 143 people have been killed in crashes on city roads so far this year. They insist that drivers who get a $50 speeding ticket learn their lesson and stop speeding. Transportation Commissioner Donis Rodriguez says more than 75% never get a third ticket. Hmm. Dana. Marsha, thank you.